We will unwrap the skateboard by Michael Olasanya, but you can use these same steps to unwrap any model. To open the UV editor, go to Windows, Modeling, Editors and choose UV Editor. We will create a new planar UV map. This will also replace any old UVs you might have. Rotate the planar map gizmo so you're looking at the object from an angle. This will help reduce pulleys which are perpendicular to the projection. This will help the unwrap function which we will be using later to unwrap the UV shells. Now select the UV shells and drag them to the side so that they don't overlap. You can scale them so you can see them better, but their size and proportions don't really matter at this point. You just want to see all of them clearly and group similar ones near each other. Now it's time to select the edges that will become the seams. Think about how to cut up the shape into pieces that will unfold flat. They don't have to be perfectly flat, but try to make them as flat as possible. I'm splitting the board portion of the skateboard into two pieces, the top side and the underside. Move the pieces that you've already cut up into a separate space in the UV space so that you don't confuse them with the shells that still need to be cut. Select the pieces you've already cut up and unfold them. Then orient the shells to straighten them out. Use Isolate Select to focus on the shell that you're working on. This will hide the other geometry so it doesn't get in your way. Now continue the same process until all of the shells are cut up, unfolded and oriented properly. This is a good time to listen to some music. If you accidentally cut some edges, you can stitch them back together with the saw tool. When you're happy with the seams, select the UV shells and click Unfold. Then orient them to the correct rotation. Move the shells so they don't overlap. In the Transform group you can rotate the shells by 90 degrees or any angle that you wish. Now just continue with the same process for the rest of the UV shells. Once all the pieces are cut up, unfolded and oriented, it's time to lay out all the shells into the 1-0 UV space. Keep shell free rotation off if you don't want layout to rotate your shells. Layout will scale the shells so that they have a uniform texture density. Shell padding and tile padding determines how much space is between the shells. When you're happy with the settings, click layout and see the magic. I think I will increase the padding to give more room near the borders. Layout once more. And this is much better.
You can check the texel density of the shells here. After layout, they should all have the same density. You can also set whatever density you like for any selected shells. I like to group the shells of similar material close to each other, but you really don't have to do that. Now it's time to check for stretching and compression. The white areas show even texture distribution. I'm going to move some UVs around just so you see what it looks like when you have compression or stretching. Another way to check your UVs is using the checker texture. If the checkers are the same size, then your texture density is uniform. As part of the cleanup, make sure you don't have multiple UV sets. Sometimes when you import a model, it will come with previous UVs which you might not want. And finally, delete the history of your model to have a nice clean model. So these are the steps of UV unwrapping in Maya, and you can use the same steps on any model. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll catch you next time! Happy unwrapping!